there we go. <laughs> well, hello, you wonderful humans. Doing something completely different tonight. We've got the amazing Kat Nation with us tonight, who is going to teach us how to do space painting. It's astro, cool. like astrophotography, but with painting, which is right. amazing. We're gonna make some space. <laughs> gonna make some space. Um, I have all of Kat Machen's links in the description below, so you can check out all of her social media channels. Truly amazing artist, and this is kind of like in the same style of like how Bob Ross does the wet on wet technique, right? This is like Bob Ross with space. <laughs> she is the Bob Ross of space. We just need to get her a nice big poofy wig, and it's yeah. perfect. Yes. <laughs> um, Should we take everyone through the? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, great. So, okay. Um, so we've got a few different things. Firstly, we've got some black canvases. Um, obviously, we're painting space, so black canvases are very important. If you've got a white canvas, you can just use black acrylic or black gesso. We're going to be using some of this. It's liquid. Um, liquid is a, it's an alkaline. You don't necessarily have to use this. You can always use like um, like an oil, like a linseed oil or whatever. But this is just to keep it nice and easy and moving around obviously otherwise it's uh wet on dry we're going to be using two different colors today i don't know if you can get most of these but um certainly magenta is easy to access magenta oil paint and uh, we're also using caribbean turquoise but you can also use a phthalo blue which is like easier to get hold of right um these are the two uh colors that we're going to be putting down and then on top of it we're going to be adding a white Titanium white is great. If that's what you can get hold of, use that. Or you can also use a zinc white. Um, and that's all. It's like a three color painting. So that's all we're going to do. So much easier than our painting. Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to do like a bunch of stuff. So, and the other thing that you need to get um, outside of obviously liquid and these colors, and you don't even need two different colors. You can just use phthalo blue. Is um, just need some soft paint brushes. I always recommend you get Taclon. Um, Animal hair guys is not a very nice choice. So you always have, always try to get tackle where you can. The softer the better. Now, if you can't find like some of these brushes in particular, like I'm using the Princeton brand here, is great, but they're very expensive. So um, if you're balling on a budget, use makeup brushes. <laughs> for sure. Brush. Yeah, makeup brushes. Yeah, for sure. I, I use makeup brushes for a long time. Um uh yeah, I do that. Like oh. you can often get access to those a lot easier than some of these things. So and they're a bunch cheaper. So yeah, such the better. Like some of these are like designed for watercolor, just because it says watercolor brush doesn't mean you can't use it in oils. It's just like this particular technique, you want them to be as soft as possible. I wouldn't rub these on your face, but they do feel good. <laughs> I, I found myself doing that when I bought the brushes to do the Bob Ross stuff. I was like rubbing it on my face. So <laughs> it felt super nice. <laughs> So, um, I did do that actually. All right. So when you're placing this down, so on a canvas of the size, I don't know what, what size this is. That's pretty big. 20 inches by 14 inches. I don't know. It's it's a bunch of inches. Uh use about a grape amount. You, you grape. I, I don't know what, what kind of measurement <laughs> system do we use? Like they're always gonna use a measure like a teaspoon. Are we gonna nah? Like, anyway, about a grape amount. If you go a smaller canvas, you know, like the equivalent of what your thumbnail would be, I guess. Um, and then just make sure it's like evenly covered. You can kind of see this looks like a, an oil slick. It's kind of wet. So we're going to go. We're going to give it a go. So, um, all right, let's start. Let's make all right, I'm going to try and follow along to the uh, best of my ability. Okay, so we're going to take color. So I'm using um, this carabish turquoise. You can use, if you use this one. Oh, yeah. this one okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, apply the first color, and you just sort of want to honestly. This is the best part because no one can see anything on this. You don't want it too you're thick. Kind of like you're getting like like a background background nebulosity kind of. Yeah. So this is basically just the color layer, right? So no one's going to see it. It's a transparent paint on a black canvas, so you know it, it should look almost invisible to the eye. Um, and we're just going to leave some dark areas. And those dark areas, we're going to fill with the secondary color. Um, you can pick any other shape. Doesn't doesn't matter what shapes you go for. If you're going for like a particular style, just be aware if you do. I'm dropping my own hair in there. <laughs> if you love dogs and you have lots of dogs around, make sure you pick up the dog hair. 
<laughs> coming down with our cat. Oh, really? We have hair all over the canvas. Yeah, yeah. You, like, it can, uh, when we're doing like these soft lens. Oh, we got some of these blue or red over there. No, that's okay. Oh, I put out enough. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to be adding in consciousness. All right. You want to leave some space. You want to leave that. Oh, but I'm a bit of a pun. You want to leave some a gap? Space. Oh, God. Can we see the little picture you're working from? No, Daniel. This is all, this is what I cannot do. Working from my imagination, Dan. Yeah. Hi, Daniel. Don't be afraid of it. So I get in there. All right. <laughs> okay. And now I'm going to be switching to a different color. Some extra brushes. And then I'm just going to be filling in the gaps. Now the key with this is you don't want to, um, you don't want to go over the top of where you've done the previous color. You sort of want to keep some separation. Otherwise, what you end up with is just like a homogenous color, which is not, you know, which will happen as a course of like when you're, um, you know, as you're painting. I would use a different brush. Oh, different brush. Yeah, okay. switch brushes when you do two different colors. Ah, for sure. Uh, that will make sure that you uh, keep it nice and these particular colors look incredible together. Like, oh my gosh, I can imagine it's really boring right now. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to just use your imagination, guys, for the moment. I'll be painting a transparent color, right? This, this is uh, one of the uh, the Bob Ross paintings that he does is like on these black canvases, and I always wanted to experiment with it. Oh, really? It's super cool. Yeah. Well, like, I realized Da Vinci used to paint on black canvases or like darker color canvases because he always used to say that he'd be painting into painting the light in. There are not going to be any happy little trees, but there's going to be happy little nebulas. <laughs> it's okay. Like maybe alien planet trees. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, um, do you believe in aliens? Uh, I think it would be incredibly disappointing. Uh, incredibly depressing if there was not aliens. Like if we were the, like in the, in the, the sheer vastness of space, we're the only intelligent life. That would be depressing. It would be horrible. Like, like sometimes it's hard to find the intelligent life. <laughs> oh, no. 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 Yeah, you sort of want to make sure that the entire, you, you do have to like kind of look down the side. You sort of want the entire canvas to be covered in color. Um, otherwise, what you end up with is like, I don't know, it looks a bit murky. You don't get that nice, powerful color. So there we go. So trying to do his best while she's so confident just throwing it on there. It's like following a Bob Ross stream. Where it's like you're you're you got the background all nice and pretty, and you look back and he's got a mountain and a tree range, and then you're like, whoa, 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 Bob, whoa. Let's, let's slow your roll. Let's slow it down. Yeah. Man. Get in there, yeah. Like just get stuck in, man. Oh, the elbow grease. <laughs> so at the end, we're gonna we're gonna auction these off. I'm kidding, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> I watched her do a one earlier and it just blew my mind how quick, just insane. But I imagine that just comes with practice. Yeah, these are oil paints, by the way. So this does not work with acrylic. And I know that this is a lot of people like that love acrylic painting. So, but yeah, this absolutely doesn't work. I'm going to lay out some nice. Oh, you can see all the color. You can just, you know what? Different. You can see the color way more than we can. Like on, from our perspective, it just looks absolutely invisible. I'm actually going to put some white out here as well. Oh, oh my God. It's so thick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> You're going to do that place. Uh, Right yeah, like just using out this thick part like this. What? Okay. Are you? Okay. How it's gonna go? How it's gonna go down. So this is the titanium white, right? This is the titanium white. Um or you can use a uh a, a zinc white. A zinc white is slightly more transparent. All right, oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. Great. Uh, thank you for doing this, by the way. This is fun. We, were, we were sitting around today and we're like, what, what should we do this? And then yeah. Kat was like, absolutely. And I was like, hell, because they've been asking me to do, like, we did Bob Ross streams for like, like like a month in a row. 
And then I haven't done another one since. And they're like, when are you going to paint again? And this, this is perfect. Is so good. This is so much fun. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. All right. I don't have many of these. To <laughs> yes. uh, so the bane of my existence. Yeah, for sure. Um, so this is called Palette Knife. Now, like a lot of people might not have these, you know, and if you don't, Oh, here we go. Okay, so if you don't have one of these, um, you can use a, a like a plastic spoon. Really? Yeah. Um, you can use plastic knives. I've I've fashioned one of these out of like an, a milk a plastic milk carton. Really? Yeah. So if you want to, like, oh, I never thought about that. Yeah, like I think sometimes you get to paint and then you're like, oh, I travel a lot, guys. So like sometimes I don't have equipment and I'm like. Let's just make it work with whatever I've got. So what I'm doing is um, I have tapped this down so that we've got peaks. We remember that from Bob Ross. Yeah. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to be adding in like a, a, like some white. And it doesn't really matter where it goes. But you don't want to put too much in there, right? Oops. This is a very thick paint. I might even have to like thin this one down a bit. Ugh. In a second. This is like the world's thickest paint. <laughs> it's thicker than normal. Oh, so you just cut it down with a little bit of the. Yeah, so I put a little tiny bit of liquid in here. Um, okay, right. All right, we're back here with what I'm just going to be laying it down now. The point is that you want it to be kind of like inconsistent, literally. You don't want it to be. Um, lay down too neatly. Like if it's too neat, it kind of like it ruins the effect. You sort of want it to. If it looks like a hot mess, you are absolutely doing it right. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so if you can, hot mess, I can do that. Do hot mess. Sorry, you're just spin it out. A little yeah. Bit. I'm just spin it out a tiny bit because that is quite thick. Be good. And you want to scoop it on and blot it down. You want to be like, not, don't be shy about this part. Okay. Yeah, that's it. And then just have fun with it. Yeah, have fun. Like, paint it down. But you don't want to cover the whole thing in white. You yeah. want some uh, blank areas. You can always add more white, but you literally can't take it away. So keep on adding it. Um, when you're placing it down, move the brush. You brush. It's a highlight, right? You want to place it like different angles. So the, what you're trying to do is lay it down without too many like consistent, like parallel oh, lines. Nice. Ultimately, you don't want it to look like um, you're using tools. You want to make it look like, like space. And space doesn't have like a lot of these like patterns positions. Right? It's interesting how much like of uh, certain things will repeat in like different nebulas in space, though. Like oh, the same kind of structures oh. that grow. Like, especially the ones that like look like brain cells, you know. Oh, when, yeah. So when like nebulas start to collapse, they create what we call filaments. Um, and you know, like sort of those stringy things where you know all the matter sort of falls together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. This is good, thanks. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> it's it is easy to make it look great. I promise you, this this method is so easy. I've taught it four year olds. Not going to be nearly as well. Sorry, I didn't want to like throw well, it down. Like, 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 now you're like, like, oh, shit, I'll be a four year old. <laughs> yeah, it's because you were doing your teaching earlier, and it's just because they have fun with it. I overthink it. I think that's part right. of it. Okay, so now we're going to be taking a soft roundish brush. This is the one that uh, you can use. I'm going to be using this one. Okay. Right. Now, the key to this, guys, is kitchen roll. Like, you got to use some kitchen roll. Um, the wet, the, when your brush is wet, Um, when your brush is wet, it does not work. It okay. does not work. You have to keep your brush. Oh, by the way, by the, this is pretty much all the paint we're going to paint, place down. We don't need to place a single thing down now. Really? Now we're just going to be basically, this is the art of smearing it around. That's cool. Um, okay. I like that. This is super clean compared to what I was doing. Oh, really? oh my God. When I was doing the Bob Ross it looked like there was a war zone of paint afterwards. It took me like hours to clean up. Well, we not got to that section yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So what we're looking now is we're going to pull this paint and drag it through these gorgeous colors. Okay. So I'm not putting my paintbrush in the center. I'm just taking the very. 
Great connection. Oh, um, I think we're back. Are we back? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the internet uh, died there for a moment. Such is life when it comes to streaming. Hey, are we yeah. still going? Yes, I think we're back. Like, you can hear us. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Thumbs up, sunshine, if you can still hear us. Shows everything spoken. Oh, there we go. We still here? Oh my gosh. For a minute there, I was like, we're gone. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All right, sweet. Beautiful. Okay. So you can use a bunch of different brushes as well. You can also add um, some white with um, fan brushes, right? And you can create these beautiful smoky effects. So if you're using a fan brush, I'm going to hold it out here. And I, what you can do is you twist the brush as you pull it down. You create this kind of like faux smoke. Oh, that's, that's that's cool. smoking. Yeah, I just gotta just go with it. Just yeah, right. So, not overthink it. Don't overthink it. Now, obviously, this beautiful thing is that whatever you touch with your brush, you destroy. So you know there'll be things that you think, oh, that's really beautiful. Yeah, let me just touch it, and then you're like, oh, oh no, I killed it. You're just gonna leave the happy little yeah, accident. So, so, like sometimes it's learning restraints and not like over blending because over blending is so easy to do. It really is. So just going to be pulling out these little things and and honestly like i feel like this sense like it's a sensation of like you know just kind of floating in space yeah because she's trying to paint along <laughs> so we got a couple of people painting along which is cool you're painting along oh my yeah. gosh and uh, i love the stars too finally thank you for the uh for the super chat hope you're doing well appreciate you okay so we're still going with this and like the colors are incredible. I think um, there's a lot of like yellowish lights around us right now. Um, but obviously the blues and white light just look sensational. Like it's a lot more visible than uh, probably you can see on the streaming. And so how did you do the uh, the fancy twirls? Oh, right. Okay. So we're on to fancy twirls. Okay. Okay. So we're like heavily loading a oh, fan brush. brush. Right. So you pull it. And twist it at the same time. Right. So oh, kind of like a like you're dancing. Right? Oh, I can't dance either. That's oh, not helpful. Yeah. So, uh, imagine like you're you're doing like a little twirling at the top. <laughs> okay. He's like, yeah, I do that. Exactly. Like, so when you start driving, you start driving flat or at an angle, like down yeah, like this. Yeah, so have it vertical. Vertical. And then and just then twist dance. as you pull it. Yeah. Oh, I can dance. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I get it. I just got it. Got it. I so, it so Leave it. Can, no, no, that's great. So you're just going to straight, straight down. Like you've got, so, so I'm just saying, oh, I like, sure, but you've got like a nice swirl, right? So like follow the swirls. Around. Follow, the swirl. follow the swirls. You know, you want to be creating. Oh, oh I went straight again. <laughs> like a. I mean, one of those, I'm trying to find an analogy about making turns and I cannot think of anything. <laughs> Imagine you're in a... I think I'm not involved yet no. for, the, for, the, for the skill of the fan brush. Um, well, let me show you, like, let's, let, let me, like, okay, so you want to dance it around. And then, okay. okay. All right. Try it, try it. Okay, I'll do, I'll do it again. One more again. Yeah. So, full turn turns. Hey, got it. Got it. Good morning. Yeah. Like to try. It is very so, exciting. Tabitha, oh, I'm, I'm, so Tabitha is painting here, and then Kylie. Kylie. Okay. Kylie is also painting on the other side of the table, and theirs is looking fire. Fire is one way to. Similar to like the wetland. Yeah, I'm like struggling to see. Are you because yeah, I found like this? No, no, no. This is easy. It's just that I've got some big glare. Uh, so I actually um, can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. Bob Ross. <laughs> the Rob Boss. No, the she's the Bob Ross. Ross of space. Then you, you just need to do like those. Like the same style of videos as Bob Ross, but with an Australian accent and yeah, right. Australian humor as well. Is that how they fair? 
I've got an English accent, yeah. but I live in Australia. But that's true. Yeah. I could be like, would you like a cup of tea in the, in the scone? <laughs> in some space. Just don't get the like, crumpet crumbs in the... Would you be like... <laughs> All right, so today's material, phthalo blue, cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's a tea <laughs> Next thirty train has to be an auction of all these paintings. <laughs> <laughs> what is Bob Ross? Oh my god. Ian. That's 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 your Ian. That's Ian. Yeah. Mr. Ian. Loud how My my partner is Ian Lauer has uh, made me, when we first got together, he made me a, um, a mixtape, which is cute, like when you, do you know what I mean? He made a mixtape, and it was called the Ian Lauer Power Hour, which is a fantastic mixtape. <laughs> Only, it wasn't an hour. It was like seven hours, and I was like, this is a, I, was like I was like, this is the longest hour I've ever experienced. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> anyway. So, um, yeah, but if anyone hasn't watched Bob Ross, you know, I, like I started painting because my 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 dad, who's sadly passed now, um, painted some Bob Ross pictures. And my dad had no artistic ability, God bless him. Um, but he was he was a great guy, but, um, you know, like struggled with creativity. But, you know, I think it comes to a time in your life where you're like, I'll just give it a go. You should definitely always give it a go. And um, and honestly, Truthfully, I was like, if you can do it, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Oh, I can do it. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, you know, I'm like, I would say that Bob Ross is probably one of the most, he was like AFMR before it was cool, you know? He really was. He really was. Like, like that dude. But I never saw him in the Kamar, not one. I mean, if, if he was well, he that, he, yeah, he did scratch his beard, mm. and a lot of the things were very sexual innuendo back then. So it was like he looking at like, that, like, like he was, like, he was like a Barry White of painting. Mm -hmm. All you just feel something like earth, wood, and fire in the background. <laughs> Wait, was that? Yep. Was it? Oh my gosh, because at the moment I thought I'd really embarrassed myself. A happy Happy Little Nebula. Happy Little Nebula. Remember, there's no mistakes. So if okay. I can smooth it out with a larger brush like this one. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna split some, let's show you some stuff. That's gonna be fun. All right, I'm gonna give you yeah, we can use this one. All right. So what you can see here. I feel like a child right now. I have yeah. felt so much like Okay, so what you can see here is a lot of definite strokes. We've got definite, very clear parts, right? Yeah, this is and that's fine. But what we want to do is make it so you can't see any strokes. It's kind of like just a mass of nebula coming through. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to place the brush vertically down, okay? So no angles here. And this is, again, where we're going to need to wipe the brush every couple of, every, like, stroke, you need to be, like, brushing. So, and we're going to do, like, Circular pattern. Oh, okay. so he like blends out the clouds. Right. So we're going to be doing little tiny like circular movements, and the key is is that you want that to be almost no no Yeah, like you're tickling it, and then wipe your brush. <laughs> That's a very Bob Ross. Just tickle it. Just tickle it on in there. Okay. Just nice and gentle. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so if you want to break the break the strains up, you can do little figure eights, but you you want to be a bit inconsistent, so it doesn't always spiral, but you want to like go a little crazy, I guess. And then when you start to see it smearing too much, wipe your brush. Okay, okay let me give it some. Like I, I feel like I should not shit. So I'm not very good. Thank you. I'm not very good at. Uh, I feel like we should have like stocks and shares in kitchen roll. Probably. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's fantastic. And then like draw it out as well. So like. Yeah, that's it. We want to make it nice and inconsistent strokes, okay? And it's kind of like just tickling it in. Tickle it in. You want to tickle it in? Nice and gentle. Nice. Make love to the painting as Bob Ross would say. You know what, like, oil paint is like, you know what, like, I feel like I'm going to say this, like, oil paint can be a little toxic depending on what you're using. But he always was like, that the beating of the devil, devil out of things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But don't do that. Like, if you've ever, like, got a... 
Don't do it. I did that so much. He, he told me to beat the devil out of it. I beat the devil. That's probably what my brushes look like. Oh, my God. disaster afterwards. Don't do it because it's like atomizing thinners. It's so oh, dangerous. So like, like, it's super bad for your health. Like, it's like... Oh, man. Take, take my money, make them happy, little nebulous. Mama Herbo, Turbo, Verbo, Licious, thank you so much for the favor chat. Herbo is the best. Well, the oh. whole community is the best. I'm sure we have pretty much the majority of our core community here. That, so uh, good to meet you guys. This has been so much fun. What did Bob Ross? And we did just cover Bob that. Bob Ross ain't got nothing on the Bob Ross's face. Yeah, like, gonna. Just have it like I always get the sensation of like floating out in space whenever I'm making you two, you know, like just having a bit of fun. Just I like know. this. This is this is way less stressful than trying to do a Bob Ross painting because you can just literally just picture space and just go with the flow. I see we're just a little spirally, you know, and like every now and then just gotta make sure you wipe that brush. I feel like you know, like how IT departments are always like, have you turned it off and on again? <laughs> I'm always like, have you wiped your brush? Have you wiped your brush today, madam? Ma'am. Ma'am, wipe your brush, ma'am. And I'm like, yes, wipe you your brush. look at the painting and it's all smeared. I'm like, like no. liar, liar. My favorite thing with troubleshooting stuff, when people would say that, I would be like, trace it to the wall. Because like, uh, trace it would be like, the like, internet's not working. I was like, like, okay, I need you to trace it to like have you check to see if it's plugged in. I'm like, yes, okay. So I'm like, I need you to trace it to the wall and tell me which plug it is in. And knowing that it would be unplugged, and then you would just hear and trace oh, it. So like, so like, I'm like following it, following it, and then you just hear silence. And then I'm like, was it unplugged? And you're like, <laughs> I'm like, yes, but I don't want to cut a faction because you're going to be smug now. Right? It's like I fell for this trickery. We just need to do a hard reset. Why don't you do that? Well, you just you press the power button. Huh? <laughs> and you press it again. One, once more. With Rob feeling. Moss. I would love to meet Rob Moss. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's a good name. It's a good solid. Is that a pickle nebula? Oh no! Ian discovered Herbo. So Herbo is uh, fascinated with pickles. I love pickles. Oh, don't you even, if you don't even know what you've started. No, like I genuinely, I'm like obsessed. Wait, we're talking about the pickle eating pickle too. Yes, the eating pickles. Oh, yes. but, but it could also go the other way. Do you know how good like dill pickles? Can we just talk about how good dill pickles are? Like seriously? Like, ah. Oh. If someone got me dill pickles for Christmas and that was it, I'd be so stoked. Dustin Lag, no, Dustin has potato internet. Uh, um, it's actually two hamsters running on a treadmill that the power is connected both to the potato and the internet, and it just doesn't work very well. At least for me, it seems to work fine for him, but for some reason, with me, not so much. Do you remember? That was actually the night where I met Ian and they played that song. Was it really? For real, that's the only reason why I remember it. Oh my god. Yeah. Isn't that great? Let's try it again. Lower quality. No. No. I like that you guys can see it nicely, but even like it. Yours is looking amazing. It's kind of Orion, um, reminding me of the Orion Nebula. Like the, the trapezium would be like right in there. It, it's a miracle because I actually can't see what I'm doing. All I can see is like a big white glare. But no, it looks really good from here. All right. I'm going to work on yours with you for a little bit. Oh, Hi. oh no. Okay. So, um, this is kind of a cool thing. Got some interesting stuff going on here. Like, so what I would do, like, <laughs> So I would I would start to like connect these things. So I would like start to drag these around, right? I'm just gonna tell you what to do. Okay. And then I would do that. So do I drag it or do I tickle it? So I would drag this one. Drag it. So yeah, drag it that way. Yeah, like drag it just around. Yeah, like, that's nice. Okay. And then we want to sort of create just some sort of inconsistent strokes. So you want to just like 
do some like mm, okay like okay and we want to because what i'm trying to do with this is break up the consistent like the straight lines so you want something there but you want it to be not as like obvious you want it to be okay. obvious straight okay so maybe i should start doing that so some yeah, of this stuff as well right but like and then I would go in and do some of those little tickles, right? We wanna tickle it out. We're gonna get some tickles. You know what the best thing to do is you never want to make a dinner awkward. Oh, okay, okay. I'm I'm ready. I'm prepared. And they've got like Google Home Assist is say, hey Google, play Barry White, especially if it's with people that I'm... you barely know and you're like trying to eat and it's like, mmm, baby. So <laughs> My favorite thing is because so many people have these devices in their homes is to say, uh, Siri, play uh, Sweet Caroline. And if they're listening on the speakerphone, then their phones will activate and they'll play Sweet Caroline in their house. So I do that when I'm live streaming very often. Oh, really? Yeah, or like uh, Alexa is a good one. Because oh, everybody has Sweet Caroline. Or just something. That was just the one that came just to mind. Just say Barry White because Barry he's, White. like Barry White is excellent. Cat, you're doing amazing. Jonathan, well, Cat, you're doing amazing. <laughs> All right. If you're gonna if you're gonna talk, you gotta get in here and start painting, Dustin. That is not uh, my best friend. We should share pickles with each other. I love pickles. Pickles are the best. Like they really are. Sweet pickle. Do you do bread? Is it cool? Wait. Do you eat sweet pickles? Wait, who doesn't eat sweet pickles? Oh my god. I'm normal pickles. I'll eat any kind of pickle. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, as long as it's not, I'll eat them whole. As long as it's not exclusively sweet pickles, because that's that's a problem. Why? What's wrong with sweet, sweet pickles? Sweet pickles are disgusting. Have, have, you, have you kosher pickles where they're spicy, like a little spicy? Yeah, I'll eat spicy pickle too. Okay. Well, at least, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll eat a massive pickle. Like, <laughs> I'm all stuff. <laughs> right? There is no pickle hate from the cat. No pickle. Nation. I just love all pickles. Look, I, I believe in equal opportunities for all pickles. They can all, all go in my mouth. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're like just very like straight into the dodge. Like, you know, um, you know, Bob Ross would definitely Bob like, Ross had so many sexual innuendos. It's not like he was Dude, Did awesome. you watch the documentary on Netflix? That's right. And I know this is gonna be opinion. But like part of the reason why we all get to see so much of Bob Ross is because of the Bob Ross company. Now it's not owned by the Ross family. It's uh, like so. I think the bit that I thought would like kind of kind of did him dirty is the only thing he wanted was for his son, who's a very talented artist, yeah. to own part of that. Right? Um, you know that was very important to them. Now. now I thought that they did him dirty on that. But the reason why he was so successful is because of the way that they ran things. Like, like having run my own art company, I can tell you that the logistics behind all the stuff that they create, like the reason why we all know him is because like he wouldn't be street. Like the reason why he's on Twitch yeah. isn't because like of his own, like his person, like it's the company that made that happen. Like we we are so it's like this weird thing where like, I don't feel like they did the right thing by his family. But then also the only reason why we kind of know about Bob Ross is because of the work that they put in. And it's not like an insignificant amount of work either. It's just, yeah, it's like, I'm, yeah, I'm conflicted about it because, you know. Yeah, from this angle, it doesn't look half bad. <laughs> it's like, it's like, when you look at this, it's like, when you look at the reverse of the canvas, when you look at the bag, it looks great. All right, okay, great. So you're doing some stuff. We'll just keep on, uh, we'll keep on taking on this. Look at, look at the type of things over there. That's fine. That's good. We're going to, that looks great. That looks great. That looks great. That looks great. I like it. Well, I can show you something that's going to look great. Like we can add extra bits and you, it's going to. Keep our pickles. What? Was it because was it of the, uh, the sweet pickles? What's wrong with sweet pickles? Really, what is wrong with sweet pickles? It's sweet. It's into a pickle stream. Oh, sorry, guys. Well, you know. Blame the pickle. Right. So, have you. <laughs> Blame the pickle. You know what we call. Was it Ebro? Erin? Erin? Who was the person who likes pickles? Oh, Herba. Herba, sorry. You know what the pickle did. 
Okay, or they go, Thanks. yes. Be not, not, not a massive amount, you know, you don't need whole set. Um, you know, you can literally just do it with white and blue. Even. Um, Oh, no, no, no. If, you're, if you've got a lot of paint on your computer, you're doing it absolutely right. And I, I had just built like a new desk, oh, and that okay. thing has paint all over it. Because right after I built it, I was like, oh, I'm going to beat Bob Ross. And there's just white specks oh. of paint all over from beating the devil out of the brush. So here we've got some white thin liners. Um, sorry, what See, this is super you smart. You call them trash bags. The thin liners. I mean, that makes sense because you don't call it a trash bag. We like, uh, we just America likes to name things after like exactly what it is, like fall because leaf fall down and just very. Can you drive park and park on driveways? Not logical. I'm just saying. I can I can agree with that. That is a, yeah. Well, that, like, there's a problem there. Like but why do, why do you call the the trunk of the boot? Oh, it's because you used to actually store boots in the back of your right. particular compartment. So that does make sense. It's the boot compartment. It's the, it's the, specifically. It's, it's where like I put Canadian. Like, What's the boot bit? <laughs> what? The bonnet. But, so did you put bonnets in the bonnet? You know what? I bet they did. Probably. I wonder. Pitchy, thank you for becoming a member again. Thank, or no, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you. Just keep tickling it. I think no amount of tickling is going to save this particular photo. That looks fantastic. Guys, isn't it good? Like, it actually doesn't look bad at all. Like, why are you so hard on yourself? It's how I get better. Dude, it doesn't make you... So, you know how Bob Ross is meant to be, like, super relaxing? So, I definitely want to brush. Just um, so, Bob Ross is supposed to be super relaxing, right? It would be me, like, cursing the entire time with this great entry. So... I'm going to throw a, like a concept out to you, but what if you weren't hard on yourself? You just accepted mistakes and then in, and then spent all of that energy on focusing on, well, where can I make a lesson on this? Well, that's that's what I do. Like my my being hard on myself is like, I don't know. It's my uh, my, like, my I, way of processing through my mistakes. Yeah. Like I like to, like self-deprecating humor, you know? Yeah. Like I, what about self? Appreciating humor, weren't you just saying? I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm freak. I have said. I'm freaking good. So, yeah. <laughs> there is that too. So, when I do something obviously horribly bad, that's where that comes in. I think okay, that's. Yeah. Working. That was a bad idea. I should have just listen to you. And yeah, I feel like you definitely need to wipe your brushes. So, let's just go back and clean these brushes. <laughs> I feel like a, like a seven year old right now. This is great. But thank you for, like, this is super fun. Thank you. What do you do about these little hairs? Oh, yeah. Screw it up. You're a freaking wizard. Oh, I, 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 I would have like just massacred all the, the pain and accident. Yeah, so when you when you operate and you love dogs, you know, you're gonna get hair. You tell this is like <clears throat> some kind of like tag by TV disaster slash Kate Machen hybrid kind of. Saving photo. It looks beautiful. It, does look pretty it cool. actually looks amazing. No word of a lie. Look how messy my hands are. I'm, obviously, it's like so messy. I'm like, you all talk too much about pickles. I had to get some. Oh, you're kidding. Oh my God. We should get all oh, docks and pickles. Where is Dustin's slobbery dog? Oh, no. I'm doing all the puppies. Oh. I always feel so bad when we come because you guys don't burn able to have the dogs running around. I feel like they hate us, probably. Like, that's probably why they're barking when we go outside. It's like, these people, every time they're here. What did, I, what did we ever do to deserve dogs, you know? I, I, I say this all the time, but they're just the most beautiful creatures. Not always. I mean, I'm sure there's asshole dogs, too. But <laughs> True. But even though they, if they even get a pass, because we probably did it to them, you know? Someone did it to them. Like, dogs are just the best. I love, like, the unconditional love of dogs. We definitely don't deserve uh, it, for the most part. Like, I never really understood dog people until I got my own dog. I called my dog Dave. Dave? Dave the dog, right? He was a Rottweiler. He was 65 kilos. I don't know what that is in pounds. Someone in the chat can tell us what 65 kilos is in pounds. Yeah, chat, what is 65 kilos in pounds? Is it... That's actually pretty big, isn't it? A big boy. Yeah. Uh, so to put it in perspective, I'm 
66 kilos. <laughs> so, what cost of you requesting political asylum so we get to keep you here in the States with Ian? Well, <laughs> let's do it, okay? So, um, one of my I, a political asylum from the spiders in Australia. <laughs> I am, um, I hear they're going to kill me, guys. They're coming for us. You know what? I actually haven't seen that many spiders. Um, but you know what? I saw a bloody massive big snake. Jesus. It was a tiger snake. Super, super venomous. Is Australia as, dead, as deadly as all the jokes? Yeah. No. I said we just tell it to keep it all out. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean, but effective. Yeah, like if you, like, yeah, I remember someone, I can't remember where they were, they were from, but they were from one of the world's most violent cities, you can guess, and they were like telling me how like violent and dead, like how scary Australia was, and I was like, really? Perception is an interesting thing, like often, like you perceive countries and, and places to be a certain way, you know, because it's just like how, I don't know, like, Whatever, whatever's shown on the news. Not, I'm, I'm not like an anti-news person. It's just like everything is seen with a, a filter on, I suppose. And, uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. Like it's nice and chill. Like there are shark attacks, but I think it's like if people are in the ocean, but I don't really like it's generally not that many. Like I think, I think like one a week or something. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a surprising number of shark attacks. Yeah. yeah, but Australia's not that big. I mean, it is kind of big. It is massive. It's huge, huge. I mean, you mean like not to have that many people. Exactly. Like, yeah, it's because the sharks have got them all. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> It's not that bad. You have sharks got them all. Yeah, sharks. sharks. I love the southern cassowary. Such cool birds in Australia. Oh, I by the, uh, what, what are those birds? There's cassowaries and there's the other dick bird. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, emu, I told you about the emu you wars. You about the emu, sorry. Uh, so my favorite thing. Like, my favorite war. Why didn't they build tanks out of emus? I think they should. Like, if they took an emu <coughs> and attached, like, a turret to it and yeah. got it, like, you know, to get used to gunshots and just rode it into battle, you can't, can't hit it because it's so fast. They can take, like, 20 bullets and... Uh, and it'd be terrifying. Like, wouldn't you be terrified if you were on the front lines of battle and you saw this dude with a machine gun on an emu running towards you? Dude, if it was like an emu with a hard hat on, <laughs> wouldn't that be the best? There's actually a bear. So You'd be confused. You'd just be like, we can't fight this. Uh, I think it was in the Ukraine. I can't remember exactly what. Uh, but a bunch of soldiers, I believe in World War II, found a bear in the wild as a baby bear. And they, and they shaved up, it. They definitely shaved it. No, they raised it. It joined it and eventually like started replicating like what they were doing. So it would carry ammunition can cans to the front line. Yeah. And um, so it did this bear, they raised this bear and <laughs> it would eat with them. It would smoke cigarettes with them. It would drink, they would, they would you, get it drunk. That's how you get bears to comply is you get them hooked on cigarettes. <laughs> that's it. They're like, where's my... It, do bears steal lighters? How do they light? Do they ever have a disposable? So the, the bear would not, <laughs> the bear would not take a cigarette unless it was lit already. So they would light it first, and they would hand it to the bear, and then the bear would smoke it once and then eat the whole thing. What? Yeah, he would eat it lit. See, that's how I <laughs> just, just. Oh, that's so cool. Cool. I don't normally smoke, but I did smoke a cigar yesterday because I watched Goodfellas for the first time. Oh, I like. So I was looking at the IMDb top one hundred. And I was like, good, but it's kind of an old movie. Is this ready for me? Oh, guys, it's a really good movie. It's a uh, Russian bear, yeah. So, <laughs> so eventually, like, they had to leave, and they were like, we can't take this bear, like, on the boat with us because they, like, it's a, it's a wild animal, right? Uh, well, so they, they granted it into the Russian military. Yes, and, uh, I think, like, it was whatever their, like, equivalent of, like, a private was. And it rode with them on the boat to their next station. And then at that station, they were having so much trouble getting ammunition to the front lines. The bear figured it out. He started carrying ammunition to the front lines for the soldiers. He would drop off the ammo and then walk back and pick up more. Oh, this is a bear. Hear me out. Brother Bear, <laughs> war, war edition, right? <laughs> Let's start fundraising this movie because, like. That bear had the rank of corporal. Like, I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Dude, he's a smart bear.
Could you like, like, how did you defeat him like in a pot of honey or something? <laughs> well, that's the main thing. Like, I was doing it like, like associated with him too long. I mean, it's impressive. You want to tickle the painting a little bit, Dustin? Looks good. Looks good. All right. So yeah, really. we're in the section where we're going to start adding some stars. Ooh. Okay. So start flipping the brush, right? Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do some individual stars first. Okay. okay yeah, so. The shark, shark. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we're using two different brushes. So I'm going to be using one to apply paint and then one to blend. Okay, so the blend brush, keep it dry, wipe the brush. <laughs> keep it dry, wipe the brush. So wipe your dirty ass brush. So is this one with the really pointy tip? Correct. Um, if it, if it's, oh yeah, that's nice. All right, so you basically blob some down and then we tap the edges. Now I get this long hair. Can you pull it out? That's what she's doing. The only thing that pulls that is my pouch. <laughs> it won't, actually. The hair went? Oh, well, we just have to go with the hair. Got it. You got it? All right. Okay, so we are starting by applying. You're adding chromatic aberration around your star. Right. So we are adding a little blob in the center, and we are just working it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you just keep on doing that over and over and over again. So do you mix it with a little bit of like the fallow blue first? No, 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 you don't need any color. Oh, I see. So you just add the white. Yeah, and then what you pick up the color from. Can I add a nice big star in there? Yeah. Actually, no. I would say that in the darker areas yeah. is where you should really be adding stars. You need to come. That's, that's perfect. My guiding was off. Um, yeah, like it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of a slick. All right, so yeah, go in there, add it in. And then just work it out, and then eventually you'll end up with something that looks like a nice glowy star. No, I'll get it. Do you wipe the brush off each time? Uh, it depends. Is this your blending brush or is this your fine brush? Do you have two brushes? I have. We can give you a second brush. I have. Well, I have this one. Which one should I use for the blending and adding? <laughs> <laughs> Just tickle it in there. Yeah, so with these, I would always say, like, we want to tap, tap, tap it all the way around until the edge is absolutely just happy. Like it's a wrong dot there. It's just an oblong. It looks like an egg. Hey, it could be. You can turn this into like a galaxy sometimes, you know? There are no rules. So I heard you're painting a massive painting. You want to? Um, yeah, I mean, I always paint a lot. I paint, I paint a couple of different things. I've got a couple of different cool projects. So I'm uh, painting one for Dustin, which is um, a shot of his horse head, which at the moment is just in its under painting, like, on, like it's at the beginning stages. It needs a lot more work done to it. So um, do you often take like like shots of space and then, because I looked at a couple of them, like it looked like you did Andromeda, which was Beautiful. Yes. So, um, so <clears throat> it depends. Um, so a lot of my larger pieces of commissions, um, some of those will be like, they'll pick a particular nebula or whatever that they love and I will reproduce it. Occasionally people just want me to like do this, you know, like make stuff up as we go along, you know, and, and this is kind of like, it's like doodling, but space doodling with paint, I guess. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that's a painting that was uh, 13 um, by 13 feet, uh, which is like a bloody monster. Um, How long did that take? Oh, it'll take probably at least six months of work, I think. Um, Can you name one of the stars after me? Nope. Is that, is the star called Nope? <laughs> That one's a no, because it looks kind of like I noped out of that one. Happened to my work, people just... Okay, uh, so yeah. like, we're going to go and show you again the process of making a star. Okay. Um, does this look like a star, or does that look like hammered ass? Yeah, it looks fantastic. Well, the only thing that you need... <laughs> Maybe a little bit more ...is a dot in the center. That's it. So we add a little dot in the center, and then what we do is we, with this, we have two brushes, one for paint, one for blending, right? Keep the blending one clean. Okay, and then we want to do is, so the blending one should be slightly fluffier. The, the dotting one should be slightly thinner. Okay, and then we're just going to tap around the edges until the edges disappear. Everyone wants to do the sunflower galaxy. 
Sun Power Dogs is such a beautiful galaxy. Um, I, my first time I was on a, a stream with Dustin, well, not the first time, but with um, uh, Diana Herber, there's a um, vanilla moon astro, and um, she shot and processed the uh, sunflower. And um, it was one of those most beautiful moments because, like, I remember her crying at the end because it was just, she loves space so much that it was such an emotional moment. And it was like, I don't know, you know, like one of those wholesome, like, this is why we do it kind of moments. It was like that. It was great. Yeah, uh... So then you go back and then you you touch the center of it again. And like, so the second time you add, you blend it out, you don't go quite to the edges. You should keep it. Um, so your, your blurred out white section is like getting smaller and smaller each time until all you can do is just add the little peak in the middle. And then that's how you create these nice. That's super cool. Yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, it's going good. <laughs> you gotta add the boop at the end to, add get, the boop. to get it just right. Yeah, you know what? Bob Ross is all about the sound effects. He'd always be like, and that's the ASMR part of it. Yeah. He didn't even know what he was sitting on back then. He was sitting on power. Oh, yeah. Patricia, what's going on? Does someone on the stream, these are beautiful? Is it oil things? Yes, Girth. Yeah. Girth lit. Girth lit. Girth lit. Sure. What's good? Uh, that's the airport right there. Sure. We're gonna burn it. So um, yeah, so we're adding a few different stars in there. I'm gonna add a little galaxy. Right. So okay. So what you want to do is make a little stick. We're making a spiral bar galaxy. It's a little stick, and then from one side you wanna almost like a G. And then you want to do the same from the other side. Oop. Oh. Okay. And then same process, right? You just you just tickle the edges. Just tickle the edges. Just tickle the edges until it forms into a beautiful galaxy. Tag, what did I eat for dinner? Pizza. Oh, I ate pizza too. We good. all had pizza. It, was, it was like it was good, but you know, like sometimes, like it was like food coma. Yeah. Oh, That's it. You thought all that. It's almost like you're making a G. Oh, and then you do this bar on the other side. Oh boy. That's what it looks like you do this bar on the other side. There you go. Ooh, not crazy you there. Are you awesome for it? Some of us. Nice. And you can, like, if, if the greatest thing about this process. Hawaiian pizza, you know, pineapple on pizza. I love pineapple on pizza. Ian made me pay for pineapple pizza today. He I heard pineapple. you order Yeah, because of you, because you wanted pineapple pizza, you heathen. Wait, does Kat do like YouTube videos teaching how to paint? I need help um, adding oils and used to acrylics. I have a full tutorial on my Instagram, but I do not, I do need to get into YouTube. I'm just a bit scared. I never know what to do. And they're like, yeah, I should just do this right. It's super simple when you say that. I'm like, oh yeah. You just gotta do the the Bomb Ross method where you just do like a full blown tutorial that people can just follow along with. But just not even tutorial, just like paint. Paint along with paint paint mm -hmm. for pickles is what I need to do. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. This is good. This is a bit where we're like trying to both concentrate. We've got a bit quiet. Mm -hmm. And do that and just go shh. Oh, oh nice. Crazy. Oh my gosh. You stupid one. Circle. So I would highly recommend tapping. Tap uh, oh, so tapping the edges out? Tapping the edges out. You, just get a little, you, you get a little bit more control over it. And uh it's you know, it gives you an opportunity to like Yeah, it's a big ass dog. Definitely want to always, especially if pickles were involved. Oh my god! But having tag stream withdrawals, I will be home tomorrow finally to where uh, start streaming again. This is so much fun. I think that's a perfect. We'll have to do this when we're both at our normal setups and the internet is working and not crashing every five seconds. Yes. One day we'll get you guys to move to Georgia. Dustin, oh, here. Pressure. Oh, <laughs> exactly. This is such an awesome stream. I would uh, watch your painting 
her work is beautiful. I have all the links to her social medias in the description as well. So if you want to check out more, and you have a TikTok now. How did you do that glow in the dark paint? Are you willing to reveal your secrets live on YouTube? Uh, it's taken me a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I've been working with a few different um, material scientists, uh, and I actually work directly with a glow pigment like factory. But the key with um, the difficulty when you're doing like oil paint is that um, the particle sizes of white paints is they're so small that they actually like kind of totally cover it because like a glow, a glow glow particle is actually like a little crystal, and the bigger the crystals, the longer it glows for, right? But that's obviously a problem if you you're doing something that you need that smoothness. Otherwise, you're like it's like painting with grit. So, um, you know, the problem is with the majority of uh, white pigments, if you want to mix them in, they just don't work because they totally smother the uh, um, So I spent a lot of time like building up one there. You can have this like direct solid white, but then um, it will still fall glow like crazy. Um, so I'm kind of like, I'm actually, yeah, this is the first time, like, I'm, I'm working at the moment, like, actually trying to find a method to, like, mass produce it, and um, it's not going to be my first thing on Amazon. I've never sold on Amazon before, but. That is awesome, though, especially for this. So it's, so it's actually, like, a white pigment, and so that way when you blend it in, so, it yeah. not only, so it goes in the dark, but it's also, like, blending and cutting through, like, the different gradients of color. Right. Cool. So, like, if this was, like, one of the painting, this whole thing would glow. Yeah, so like you would have like a paint yeah, glow yeah. there. Yeah, and like, that's so freaking cool. Yeah, so like that's what I've been working on. Um, and like making some brushes and stuff. So yeah, she looks like a woman with her third eye. Some some comments you just. I'm like, do I have paint on my face? You have, you have paint on your lip, do which I? doesn't make sense for the third eye part, but. Oh. Some chats you just gotta like just look at and just look away. Just be like, no, nope, not today. Oh, that's okay. Oh. I um I have a lot of this stuff here. And it's oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Because I always say there's only one thing better than a, a space painting, and that's a glow in the dark space painting, frankly. <laughs> yeah. There's only one thing better than a glow in the dark space painting. You know what that is? A really big ass glow in the dark space painting. That's <laughs> that's <laughs> right? Is there For sure. Uh, is there a certain target that's got to be one for both photograph and the bubble paint? nebula? Ooh, I got the perfect scope photograph for the, the bubble nebula. Ooh, is it called plain yellow? Yep. How <laughs> well, do I know that? <laughs> we're actually we're gonna have a plain yellow photograph very soon, which will be like the perfect scope for the bubble nebula. You know, like for real, like when I started getting into like, because I started to, oh, we have our own scope set up now, and um, I'm learning how to, because I, I realized. Like, so yeah, I realized that one of the problems of being a space artist is that everything that I do is, um, you know, it, like if I'm working from a photograph, it's someone else's photograph, right? Like yeah, if it's NASA or whatever. And, and I, I realized that, that once I started processing asteroid data for myself, I realized how much work goes into processing you know, and how different everyone processes their work. It's like your own work. Sorry, I'm literally just on your picture. probably <laughs> helping it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I realized how much work and how, you know, how important that process is. And I was like, damn, that's not even done by me. That's like, you know, a lot of the, the back end work, right? So I was like, I gotta learn how to shoot. I was like, there is no way that I can really take what I do seriously if I, I'm not prepared to go out there with a telescope and shoot space myself. We'll have to have you and Ian join us for our next, like, uh, tonight, actually. You know what? I'm going to let you use my telescope tonight because it's actually clear at the observatory. So you and Ian can pick whatever you want and photograph it. Kelly, how, what's the, what, how is it clear in Landers tonight? Oh, shit. Oh, also. <laughs> I was waiting for you to come back up. So I'm drinking whiskey, which might not help my painting. Kat was super nice and like, I'm gonna stop drinking so that way I can teach you how to paint. So Kat is uh, Kat's like the sober driver, like the designated yeah. painting driver. Like, I, can, for I can paint really, really messy. Stuff. It's just that I swear a lot. It's a nighttime stream. Plus the nighttime streams, that's all like no holds barred match. Is that what it's called? Oops. No holds barred, no bars folded. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah, but like, can I swear or not? And I feel like I get away with it because I've got a soothing accent. So you have, see, I don't have an excuse. I sound but like you're intelligent when I swear. Exactly. You have that benefit of having the accent to where when you swear, people are like, that's oh, just a beautiful so nice. accent. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Is the stream still crashing? I hope, I'm hoping I just fixed it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we get to the bit where we click stars. Oh my God. So, okay, so I'm going to be using one of these brushes now. I would recommend using a proper splatter brush if you can. There's a splatter yeah. brush. I don't have one here for oh. traveling. A proper. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to be thinning out some of this white paint. So, uh, where is the white paint? Oh, white. Oh, white paint. Okay, so. With this white paint, you want to be adding in um, some of the liquid that makes it dry nice and uh, dry nice and quickly. But then also the key is is that uh, you want it, you want the consistency of thick like thick milk, like hot milk. Well, you know, like you know, like like full fat milk. Okay, so like just normal milk. Well, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Like, does anyone drink with milk these days? It's like gold cup. Oh, she, I feel like gold top. Like, does anyone have that? Gold top? Oh, so, like, a, so Canada has milk in a bag. Which what? I see. Okay, so I'm not the only one that what? finds that. Like, Let's just talk about that for a second. Like, how do you even, like, Please, oh. yeah, it's a bag of freaking milk. So, you can't say something about Australia. She was stuck. Ice is liquid. It does start in a bag, Dustin says. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not wrong. Oh. You're not wrong. So in Australia, um, we have something called goon bags. So goon is a type of wine. Okay. So bag wine, wine, that makes more sense. You call it cask wine, right? It's not what it's like. Like we have box wine, where it's box wine in a bag, and a, right. but it's in a box. So it's like. Right. The key is, is you're trying to get everyone out drunk. So you like spin it. And then you try to. And the key is you're trying to get everyone out hammered. So you're sitting in a circle and you, it's kind of like yeah, spin yeah. the bottle, it's but like the bottle bottom. with wine, cast wine on a, a, a washing line. Yeah, yeah right. Okay, yeah. So isn't that amazing? That's cool. That's how you know. That's the that's the official national sport of inducting people into Australia. It's how you that, that they they do that at the uh, the ceremonies. Yeah. I, I, I wish. <laughs> but it might be more environmentally friendly to sell it in a bag than a thick plastic container or something. But I bags mean, suffocate animals. Like, isn't that whole thing of like plastic bags like killing sea life and stuff? Well, they say that forty percent of all the ocean patch is actually fishing nets. So I would say the yeah. fishing nets are probably going to be fishing nets are definitely worse. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we should just go back to the glass bottles and the, the milkman that delivers it to your door. Yeah, that was cool. I used to have the milkman. Back milk is East Coast thing, not a West Coast thing. Oh wait. Your milk bags out. We call that something totally different in Australia. Like, oh. you know. <laughs> <laughs> what? We used to get bagged milk at school, slam the straw into the bag, and start squirting everyone with it. Same. All the time. Same. Same. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, I've never seen a bag of milk before. It's not like a bag, it's like a container that you only cut off a corner. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Son. What have yeah, you cut off a corner of the bag and then yeah, you have a then you have a bag of milk that's just open. Capri Sun. It's a Capri Sun. We call it Capri Sun. No, it's Capri Sun. Capri Sun. No, I call it Capri Sun. Capri Sun. All right, so I've just looked up just the edge of here. I'm just gonna flick. Okay, we're gonna flick some stars. Uh, so I'm just loading up the edge. You don't need the whole bloody brush. If you do the whole brush, it's... I wish I could get stars to look this good on my astro photos. Like, I have to spend hours doing, like, star reduction and... Yeah, like, removing them and adding them back in. Okay, so I will put... You put... ...the picture. Emily, how do you know so much milk? You're living in Washington. Well, what, like... Do you put in a picture and then put in those doilies? Like, so I mean, maybe you do. Okay, yeah. so I got 
So do I click it this way or do I click it this way? Yeah, this way, yeah. This way? Correct. Okay. Uh, you you know, it's, it's very easy to overdo, so just small motion. Yeah, just... That's too small. Too small. Oh, you got it. You got it. So the good thing about these kind of paintings, if you find a patch you've got too much, you can see it. Oh, that does look good. It looks fantastic. Oh my gosh. Fabulous. I'm going to do far back for the star reduction. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll kind of do like let me give you some more. Okay. Let's scoop it up. Well, you are kind of next to Canada. 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 Right. Some can you right here? Get up here. What? <laughs> um, so. Oh, you can get my painting, whatever. We definitely need to do this more. I would love yes. to learn to do this more. Look, the first one is always the hairiest. So what I think would be great but is, to, like to... is to do an astro, like to do an astro stream, but then paint the photo that we're like imaging. So like say we're photographing like the bubble nebula and do this at the same time. It, that would it be is sweet. It is. Um, I would definitely say that if you're trying to make a photorealistic artwork, it is certainly um, not as free and, and easy. Well, you don't have to replicate what you're shooting, but that because you know how like when you do astrophotography, it's like waiting ten minutes. Oh, well, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Yeah, like I'll be down. I'm always, I'm always down. Let's be honest. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, what did Emily say? Our words heart man. Y'all know. Like even without alcohol, I can barely speak English. Not the Queen's English. <laughs> definitely not the Queen's English. <laughs> The queen of I like how to get oh Dre, nice. Look at that purple corgi too. I'm feeling that if I search milk bags, you might not find what you're searching for. Don't search yeah. milk bags. Like, you search for like the internet was in fact made by search... for poor porn. Yeah. Judging by that, you know, old you remember the old World of Warcraft like video of No, but I do remember the old world world of like I remember I played Warcraft pre World of. World of. So it was just called oh, Warcraft. Yeah. So you played like the RPG version. Yeah, I played yeah. the one that was like with the P on me, like, quit touching me! <laughs> 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 oh, God, those are the, those are the best. So I have like some spots where it's like, this is great, right? So I'll show you how. Stars and light stars. See, it depends. If you like it, if you see a patch that you like, not liking that, point to a patch. She just like. Right. So, a little creature. Yeah. so all you do is you just look at that. You just tickle away. To You're a freaking paint wizard. So you just tickle away the stars, you know? Just tickle away the stars. Just happy little accidents just disappear right off. Right. Oh, that's literally it's so forgiving. It's so forgiving. So that's actually really cool. They're laughing. In there. <laughs> I can hear them. All right. This is the way to do it. Look up bag milk instead of milk bags. No, look up milk bags. Uh -oh. You can just hear them cackling in the other room. Not to get the back. Stream back. would you like to show the stream you're painting? Sure, too. So. Look how beautiful it's bad. You've done really good. It looks like an aurora. It actually kind of reminds me of the flame nebula. Like oh, you... that's, 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 that's exactly, exactly what that was going for. Yeah, that's excellent. <laughs> that is awesome. So I've got some nice, like, You're thinned out like... white paint if you want to use this to flick. Like, you know, also, I have a, a brush here. If you just load up the edge, you can flick. Uh, you might need to load it a couple of times. All right, so if you don't like it, tickle it out of the way. Oh, yeah. take a little um, and then, of course, so I go in and then I, I, so back with the brush where you were adding the white, and I just pick stars that I want to make them a little bigger. Oh, and you're going to dab them in. That's super cool. dab okay. Just, you know. So one thing you would decide to do this, out of curiosity, like, um, out of all the painting mediums, this one is, like, easily the most unique, I think. Yeah. Um, so... I don't know. Oil. I actually don't. I like, you mean specifically why did you do oil painting? No, just why did you like paint space? Paint space, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, was it a targeted plan or was it just like, this is freaking cool? I don't know what I was. 
There I was. I, was. I, I first went to a big ayahuasca ceremony and had very cosmic experiences. Um, I, before this, I made video games. I was a video game executive producer. Oh, really? Um, the uh, games that I worked on was uh, lots of Warhammer and Warhammer 40 k so you have to be the right kind of nerd to understand that story. I mean, no, I'm the right kind of nerd. Like, Ashley's been trying to get me into Warhammer, like, figurines and oh. doing, like, the actual, like... Which... Which, uh, like, 40K or... Like, yeah, 40K, yeah. Yeah, sweet. So, um, yeah, so I've made video games all my life. That's actually my quote-unquote real job. Um, so how long did you do that for? Just uh, not to uh, cut you off. On no, no, no. Story. So um, I did uh, make video game or develop really video games for uh, just over a decade. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I went in as a technical creative because I refused to call myself an artist because I thought all artists are failures. Well, Ian says, Kat, yours looks amazing and Sean, yours looks like a dark matter strand. Yeah, I know it does. It's like, um, oh, what's it called? The blanket, like, not what's it, cluster? You know, when you get the the matter, it all collapses and yeah. coalesces into um, brain cell. I, you know, I'm trying to think of the yeah. word. I like, like, yours looks so good. Like, I know you're struggling to see it, but look at it on the screen. Oh, that looks really good. good. It looks like it. it's a alien spaceship a little bit. So, okay, so... Before you continue your story, because I'm actually super fascinated about the story, okay. but now my brain is kind of thinking about other things. Um, What's the how many, how many, like, so you actually, like, professionally actually make and sell your photos. How many of your photos do you, like, how many photos does it take before it's, like, one that I will show to people? Is it everyone, or is it, like, every one in ten? When you say photographs, do you mean paintings? Correct. Okay. <laughs> um, yes. Just to clarify, because, just, yes. because so, I also, also do uh, photos, and I just did my first um, astrophotography launch, um, which is right, you know. Um, but it's like learning the ropes of something brand new. Oh yeah, you can just do something. You want to do that? I know, but you know, you make the rules. That's right. That's right. No. Oh, okay. So go ahead. Um, yeah, so I pretty much show every single one, but when I started, it took a long time to really get them good. On my first series of paintings, actually, yeah, it's, it's a good story, right? Um, the, the how I accidentally became a professional painter was I was trying to get my friends drunk. Really? Yeah, this is a true story, 100%. Uh, um, I quit the video games industry um, because I had extreme burnout. Like, I was working crazy hours, but also... I mean, like, being the lead in any kind of... like. Like, did you experience, like, a lot of, like, the crunch time and stuff like that? Who does not? Yeah. I mean, like, it's an inevitable part because what happens is, you know, you get to the end of a video game development, you're like, right, you've got to book all of your, uh, what's one, what's one, what's one? You just, you just did that face, like, oh, God. I don't know. It's the only explanation. Yeah, but you know what's good? I was trying to add some like highlights because you know how like when you're like a nebula, like you'll have like it kind of peek into a point. Yeah, yeah. You need two, two brushes. One the way you apply the white, one way you blend it out. And actually, if you're ever doing like digital artwork, Photoshop, and and um, even if you're using Procreate, do the same. Have a brush that you're applying with, and have like I in Photoshop, I flick between the normal brush and blend brush. Like, um, same process, right? It's how you get really, really cool looking um, artworks if you're doing it digitally too. Um, so yeah, where the heck was I? So there I was. Um, I'd, I'd quit I'd quit video games right, because I couldn't deal with the crunch. I had a moment where I was just broken. I'd been working, like one of the days I worked 18 hours, um, seven days a week. Um, most of the days it was like 10, 9, 9 10, 11 hours. And for three months, I was broken. I was a shell of myself. And there was one day I couldn't get home because I was just, I would have killed myself on the road. So I was so exhausted. And um, I slept under my, my desk because that was the only place I could go. And um, I was woken up by the cleaner, like, vacuuming. And uh, I woke up and I was like, <laughs> no, I was, you know, and I got crap stuck to my face, like whatever, like crumbs of rubbish that was like beneath my desk. And I was like, is this my life, you know, and I feel like everybody listening to this 
if you haven't had it yet, it'll come at some point, which is the, what am I doing? Like, is this all that my life is going to end up to be? Mm -hmm. And that was the bit where I was like, oh, man, you know, is this it? Is this, is, is this how my story, I, this is going to be me forever. I, it's just my life is going to freaking suck. I, I, like, I, I like the games is great fun, but it was just exhausting, you know? So, so you did that for how many years? Uh, I did that for a decade, yeah, just over decades. And, um, you know, like the problem was, is like I went in as an artist, but I, I refused to call myself an artist. So I thought, you know, I'm not happy. So I'll try and aim for the top. And then I got to the top and we're like, damn, now I'm not happy and I'm stressed as fuck. So, so did you miss like that artistic expression when you got that high up in the company? Well, yeah, you know, I, I was, I. I'd lied to myself my whole life and said that, you know, I couldn't be an artist and artists were failures. So I really just... Is I, that, that kind of like stigma of like going into like an art degree is like, like the worst decision um, ever and things like that? Yeah, for sure. Like I studied engineering yeah. to avoid being an artist. Who the so hell like that? your whole life kind of art has been your passion. You just avoided it for so yeah. long. So it kind of like coalesced into like the stars aligned. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, so that was what happened. So, um, so I'd I'd left this high paid executive job, and I was like, my life is over, because I spent my whole life leading up to this point, and now I couldn't go back into the industry. I knew it would break me, and I was over qualified for every single position, mm -hmm. the ones that I loved, you know. And I was like, this is it. I what am I doing? So I started cleaning toilets for a living. I literally was so lost and I didn't know what to do. That's all that I had. I was like, I don't know why. I'm, not there's anything wrong with, you know, being a cleaner. That's fine. But it was like not what I thought my life would end up as, you know. And I, I was like, damn, this is hectic. When I was to retreat in Peru, drank some very psychedelic tea, <laughs> um, as you do when you're having a middle life crisis. And um, I just had like a very big, like, existential moment where I connected with the universe and I realized that I loved space it was a thing that I was so passionate about as a kid and for me I sat there and contemplated the meaning and reason for existence like my thing is like why does any of this exist not just like why do why am I here like all this matter energy like the stuff that makes us paint the the clothes that we're wearing the you know the material that's making the laptop or the device we're watching like where does all that come from like the fact that we even exist is so mind blowing. Like I that brings me back to like my my answer of like, like I think it would be incredibly depressing if we were the only intelligent life. What is your opinion on on other intelligent life for Well, I mean, I, I'm an alien. If you're an alien. Yeah. I mean, with how good you think, I would agree with that. <laughs> Some kind of like artistic alien species that's just way beyond our human capabilities. Yeah, this is really big. Really, really, really big. Like, if this was the Milky Way and you put down like a quarter, like if all of the radio signals that we've been sending out since the First World War, that's how far it's gone. It's not even reached the edge of our Milky Way. That's traveling at the speed of light. You know, you think about how big that is that we've not even been able to send a signal to the edges of our own damn galaxy. Like the chances of, even if there is intelligent life out there, that it could span those huge distances is so insane so for me i'm like yeah it's definitely out there will it ever be in touch who knows i like the idea of aliens i also like the idea of like getting like kind of spooked out i would love to go on an alien hunt like that would be so dope like there are, there are people that do that they do like the extra terrestrial stuff like they go on like invent like i could call it adventures but you know what i mean they do like you know they go and like go to like places of like sightings and stuff I think that's so much fun. I don't know if it's true, but yeah. it's just it's like like you know you go somewhere for like ghost hunts or something and just have fun. Like you know I would do that sure, but yeah that's that's my thing. And like I've been so driven by this concept of existence. Like logically, whether whether someone believes in God or whether someone thinks Big Bang, like what came before that? Like you know yeah. if, if that was if if it was the Big Bang, well what what came before that? If it was God, like yeah, well, where, where did that come from? Like, you know, when my, I made a painting once called One Hologram Grace for Nothing um, because we had this discussion with my friends. And, yeah, well, you know, nothing really. It's just hologram.
I said, oh shit, yeah. I'm like, what's, where's the project, where's the holographic projector? Right. So. I saw yeah. you grab that brush, like, oh, I got this. Tabitha's so having stars to hers right now. Oh yeah, Tabitha's painting herself in stars. Us. Painting herself in stars. Um, yeah, so like, that's why I paint this because for me, this, like when you start to contemplate those big questions, there's no way that it can't impact your life. Like I think about that stuff all the damn time. Like I just look out the window and just think, wow, like, you know, where is all this stuff come from? Is that we shouldn't even exist. And yet here we are. That's the only thing we know. So like that's honestly, that's why I paint this. And I'm so obsessed about it is because if I can get more people looking at space, oh, yeah. more people are going to have these like deep, meaningful conversations and thoughts. And I feel like it's good for human existence. You know, I feel like it's good for the soul whatever that is you know what i mean but it's good for people yeah so okay <laughs> that was like it's like a turn to like we want the pickles to like being really existential yeah, like pixels. <laughs> to giving chat an existential crisis right. do you know what i i love is like whenever you look up at the night sky you're actually looking down into the abyss of space and held on to the surface of earth by gravity yeah just make me feel so oh, unbelievably oh. small <laughs> Ian, get in here and make some make some beautiful stuff. Yeah. I'll be in it. Yeah. I was literally dying, laughing at the bag of milk. I, <laughs> I was crying. Like, I had tears pouring down from my face, crying. I can hear it. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's Ian's laugh for sure. <laughs> oh, man. She is a, a very good teacher. Like, I can't say that I, like, perfected anything. I would always say the first time anyone does it, it's always, a, you know, it's always a challenge, right? But the thing is, is that now you know. So when you do it a second time around, it's like you've got a better idea of, like, where we're going with it, you know? Oh, so, super cool. so what's important now is to sign it. Oh, now I would say that it took me a long time to learn how to sign things. I thought you could sign half of mine just due to the fact that you no, 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 no. It like, just looks like a like dark matter. Or like, if, you know how they have the like the filaments of the universe. That's what it looks like. So I direction is space, and um, you know, you can then frame it. Then you can uh, you can choose which way you frame it if you wish. Uh, so you have an actual signature. Mine is scribbles. I would so so finally text is very hard. I would have I'll let you use this brush because it's a lot finer. Did you did you have to practice your signature? Oh, yeah, I, got it wrong. I got it wrong a, a bunch. So you like like, 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 like like train your signatures? Oh like, yeah, yeah. Like it took me ages to learn how to sign. How to train your signature. How to train your signature. <laughs> oh, so, so first thing is like so you've got to decide which is the best oh, way. Yeah. Okay, so from your artistic experience, which is the best way to have it orientated? Like, yeah, not the best image ever. I really like that. I really like that. So I would, I would do it. Yeah, yeah. right here. Yes. So Diagonal. Oh, cover yours. So. Kind of having to hold it. Ooh. But my I've never seen these. Said anything before. I would recommend practicing on the paper first. Yeah. Yeah, you're just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Right, I would Shame. just stick, 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 like whichever. Uh, yeah, just yeah, just do. Oh, that's that's rough. You can go slower. Like, you do not have to. Boom. Oh, look at that! <laughs> See, that's a good signature. <laughs> that MF just did it one stroke. Like holy moly! Like wow. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that looks like a proper legit signature. It took me a while. Like for me, it was like. Oh. oh my god! So how long did like yeah? That's because your signature is pretty awesome. Well, like I read a thing where like signatures are actually most useful if you can actually read them, and I was like, oh, I was like this. I did this little school. I actually designed this in a graphic design course when I visit oh, yeah. high school, and I stuck with me. So yeah, it's not my real signature. It's my art one. Because I did originally. There was a period of time when I would sign it with my real signature. I was like, maybe. I Shouldn't be given as hell. Just to yeah. include the fact three digits of your credit card and your social security <laughs> number, just add all in there, all your personal details on the girl piece. But yeah, there we go. Look at that. We have made two beautiful pieces. That is awesome. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I think it has to be tagged on Sean. Yeah, that's. Uh, oh, that's oh yeah. Tag, yeah. 
It's a disaster, just like my channel. No. But uh, oh, so thank you for doing this with me, especially like so like impromptu, like we're like we're gonna do this, and we did it. So uh, I apologize to everybody for like the uh, kind of uh, the crashing for thirty minutes before I realized that I needed to fix everything. Um, and also no thumbnail, which is terrible. But I would love to do this again sometime. Yes, let's yeah. Do it. Let's do it. And after this, we're gonna get you on either my scope or Dustin's scope. Which would be cool. Oh yeah. So future photo. But uh, thank you everybody for joining us. Make sure to check out Cat Machen's uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, everything. Oh, Literally everything. Okay. She's way better at social media than I am. Uh, <laughs> so check all those out. Uh, but thank you all so so much and thank you Kat for doing this with me because this was awesome and thank you to literally everybody else in the house that was quiet for an hour and a half for us so we could do this um but yeah 